Welcome everyone to our very first episode of Encounters Down Under. To help open the show, I have Gail joining us to tell us about her scary encounters with aliens and UFOs that's also involved her family. Now, I won't spoil the show too much, so please welcome Gail. If Gail can hear me there, I've got you um, muted at the moment there. So there you go, I think you come through yep, now. Yeah, just unmuted. There yep. we go, we've got you through. Beautiful. No worries. So um, welcome to the show anyway. Uh, it's great to have you as our first, very first, uh, <laughs> what do we what do call it, interviewee, I suppose. First guest, basically. Yes, that's it. That's the one yeah. I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Guest. Yeah. yeah. So you've no, had some so, crazy no. encounters. I have actually. Like um, mine sort of um, isn't just a one of encounter. I've sort of experienced things my whole lifetime yep. and still to this day still experience stuff. Yeah, it's so crazy. it's more. It's, what, it like is actually. From a very young age, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. The the earliest memory that I have um, of this type of thing was I was around seven years old. Oh, wow, that young. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, but back then you just thought it was a dream. Yeah. Yeah, in your head you're sort of just, you know, making things up in your own head of what happened. But, yeah, that was the one that I can remember the the youngest in age basically. Yeah, right. So you want to tell us a bit about that one? Oh, that one there. So as a kid, I remember it was a stormy night, raining, yep. lightning, everything like that. And I had my bed, um, my single bed was under the window. And, of course, you know, as kids, you know how everybody does anyway, has yep. a, a bed end that they always have their head at. Yep. And I remember going to bed and then I remember seeing a light, a really bright light, yeah, through okay. the window. Uh, we had curtains actually, yeah, back then. And um, so I remember the, the light. Next thing I remember is actually getting wet. And I remember freaking yeah. out because I was scared of storms, as all young children are, yeah. and because there was lightning and everything going around. And um, yeah, I re basically rem just remember this massive light. And then mostly it's only snippets of what you can recall, but in the I call it a dream because back then that's what I thought it was. Yeah. And then um, I remember actually being not in my room and then the next thing I remember is I, I remember running. I remember I, I got away. I just okay. remember I was trying to get back to my room and next thing I, I recall is a hot, uh, I don't know if I can describe it, the pain. I remember the pain of something very hot and, yeah, being like hitting my body. Oh, right. And then um, I remember waking, well, being in my bed basically in pain. You could still feel the, the hotness, you know, and the pain surging through my body of where this actually hit on me. And I remember I went to run out of my, you know, jump out of my bed to run to my parents' room because I was screaming yeah. and, I, I went to get out of bed and just my head just hit the window immediately. Like oh. I smacked face first into the window. I was in my bed upside down. Holy and, yeah, so that confused me. But I was hysterical. So I ran to my, my parents' room. I was wet, yeah, which I couldn't explain. Confusing. Yeah, and still I just remember the pain, though, of where it actually got me was like through the chest area. The chest oh, okay. and back, but it was, yeah. So I don't know. It was like I'd been shot with something. I don't recall that, but I just remember being hit with this hot pain. Yeah. Okay. No so, physical sort that, of um, markings there or anything like that? Not that I remember at that age because, of course, your parents are like, oh, you're just dreaming, you know. Yeah. Go back, yeah, come and have a look, go back to bed. You're just having a dream. So right. you sort of... You don't sort of look at your body for that, you know, because as far as your parents know, you're just down asleep in your room. Yeah. Yeah. So that was sort of the first sort of experience I remember. But um, I've sort of grown up because I did grow up in this country town, a very small country town. Yep. So, yeah, I do recall seeing because oh, back then, yeah, so I'm nearly 50. So 
all there was to do, especially out in that sort of town, was you'd go outside, you know, lay on top of the tin shed at night time, you know, to watch, yeah. to see if you could find satellites, you know. Yeah, so. And stargazing, why not? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So it was quite a boring sort of upbringing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was. Yeah, so, yeah, I just remember seeing, experiencing a lot of things even when I was younger. And, yep. of course, it just being brushed aside of, you know, as you do by your elders to say, you know, oh, don't be stupid or, yeah, things like that. But, um, yeah, so I've seen parent them. thing to go and say, I suppose. Yeah, it is actually. We even do it to our own children. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they're convinced that they've seen something and, yeah, we brush it aside. Yeah, of like, don't be silly. It's just a so. dream. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of craft okay. ever since I was young. Yeah, so it's more of a doesn't freak me out. Oh. Oh, it does a little bit still because you sort of think, oh, geez. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I've, I've experienced and seen daytime and nighttime things. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to yeah, things in the sky. Um, I have experienced them on my own and also with other people with me. Um, yeah, right. Seen different sorts. I've seen um, cigar-shaped. Yeah. Which were standing, yeah, just one in the sky where it was up, it was directly standing upwards. And that one there, I was actually taking um, one of my kids to school, actually. They just started, um, you know, it was either grade one or grade two, I can't remember, but I know it was just the start of school. And yeah. I remember calling the police because it was a, um, you know, a police station that was near the school. So I called yeah. them to, to be like, basically, come outside. You can see it right now. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually did call the airport as well. So that instance happened up at Keynes. Okay. Yeah. So Did they so ever confirm good. seeing the, the object as well? Um, the police officer was the one that gave me the phone number for the airport, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, to actually call them because he could see it himself. Oh. Yeah, so he could see it. And when I rung up the airport, they actually called me back, I, th I suppose, just to make sure it's not a hoax call. Yeah. But I was even telling them it would show on your radar. It would have to because it's in the sky, you know. Yeah. And they were saying to me on the phone, I remember that they were saying, no, we can't see anything. But they did ask me a lot of questions. Oh, wanted so to know, you know a lot of details. Oh, definitely. Definitely. See, because where I even grew up, yeah. it was near a um, an army training area yep. as well. So you always saw a lot of, yeah, night exercises and, and all that sort of stuff out there as well. Yeah, but um, no, so in between seeing craft like that, that was daytime. Yeah. Um, so that particular one happened that it be 25 years ago, yeah, 26 okay. years ago. And I've experienced um, just normal lights in the sky, you know, erratic movement where it can't be a plane, you know, things like that. Yeah. Um, have seen the big triangle type three times, oh, yeah, the big the black RTR triangle 3B, type. I think they're called. Yeah, I have seen that. No sound comes out of those. Right. Um. Yeah, I have seen them very, very close. One time was so close, I only saw half of it because it was going over my house at four o'clock in the morning when I was sitting on the steps putting my, my boots on to go to work. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, How craft like that. How did you feel like that, that coming your house? Oh, geez, yeah. <laughs> no, I got up and went, nah, I'm going back inside. <laughs> work and wait. <laughs> did you end up going to work that night. day or you just sort of hid in your house all day? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, no, so um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I suppose because it's sort of what I'm more wary of because when I notice them, the only time that I'm, I'm quite wary is when I have instances of when I have to travel on a road, I know that there will be no other cars, you know, constantly okay. on the road with you. That's when I notice that you come, well, for me anyway, that I've come into trouble. Yeah. In meaning something else happens as well. Yeah, so, yeah, one that I actually um, saw that uh, 
I don't know, they're very hard to explain. Like I don't understand if they're if they're from the same place or if it's different models or, you know, of craft or yeah. whatever. But the ones I've seen ones that have, have been not like a craft but also organic. Oh. Where it, it looked like it was living because it looked like a jellyfish. Yeah, that's a weird shape. Yeah, it actually, and it, 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 like it swam through the air. It wasn't like just going like directly in a stationary sort of movement. It yeah. swam because it was shaped, you can say, oh, it's kind of like a stingray. But you could see through it, but you yeah, could see it had a mass. It was transparent, but it had, it had a light in the center of it, like a, glowing yeah okay not like a not like a round light or anything like that it was just like the center part of it had light emanating inside of it yeah okay so but nothing physical saying that like there was actually like anything inside it sort of thing no no bone structures or anything like just like a bit of a transparent object just giving off a bit of a weird glow and you can see the shape sort of thing yeah yeah and that particular i've seen them twice and Considering where I've seen, that's the, well, that one I saw about a year ago. Um, probably not even that, actually. But the funny thing is, is that where I live now is in a heavily populated city where there's yep. people awake 24-7 in certain areas, of, you know, of where I live. Yeah. And I don't, it does, it makes you shake your head why people can't see them why other people are not seeing the same thing you see. Yeah, um, lots of questions around that one, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So, the, but like, you know, we've had conversations before of my sort of opinion when it comes to things like that is more, I don't know, when it, when it comes more to just a light that you see in the sky yep. is more, I think it's, Sound wave and light wave. For some people, can see just different sound waves and sound waves and light waves. Yeah. It's the only way I can describe it. But yeah, because I've been where I've pointed these when I've seen something. If you're with me, like anybody's with me, I'll yeah. point it out, and a person can be looking and going, "I can't see anything," and until I actually point in the direction you're supposed to actually be looking, like exactly where you're looking and what you're looking for and then a person it's like the light bulb comes on and their mouth drops and they go oh my god i can see it yeah yeah so that i don't understand so that's the only way i can sort of yeah think it's a different light wave yeah okay so maybe it's um might have like i've heard different theories there where they've taken this like um like the human eye can only take in so many different colors at the same time sort of thing so maybe they're like using Mm. that to their advantage with like a different source of color if that makes sense like you know they're not yeah they're using yeah, that's our blind right. spots in a sense that we can't see and some people obviously can see those parts that's like you yeah obviously. yeah 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 i think so like it's um yeah it's it's more of the lines of um i suppose anything that's any type of paranormal you know let alone it comes to craft or you know any type of UFO sort of experience, I suppose, that when it comes to even ghosts or, you know, yeah. seeing other things that you, you can't have any type of explanation for. But so many, everybody sees it, I think, but they their brain just, they, ration, they rationalise it away yep. and go, no, I didn't see that. That was something else. Or they'll dismiss it as being something yeah, else. Yeah, they get scared and just go and put it in the memory, back in the memory bank somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> too hard box. Yeah, I've done that heaps of times. Yeah. Press the memory something sort of thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, so this sort of thing I've ex- oh, I don't know, you sort of do you do keep it to yourself to a certain extent because yeah. um I don't know, a lot of yeah, a lot of people just look at you as if to go, okay, what are you smoking or what are you on or Yeah, it's unfortunate, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. Considering I don't drink, I, I don't do drugs or yeah. anything like that. So yeah, I'm not mentally unstable or on medication or yeah, I don't know. It's just something that I've experienced my whole life. But there's certain ones that, I don't know, it goes beyond just seeing um, seeing a craft. I've had a lot yeah. of experiences where I have other memories 
as well, where, where I say it's only memories because I don't have the full memory of it, only snippets of what happened. Yeah, right. Of where you can't piece it together. It's more one instance that I did have that it shook me pretty badly was um, this one would actually be, oh, what would it be? Probably eight years ago. Yep. Um, yeah, it would be eight years ago, hey? Yeah. Of, um, can I say the town? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, working actually out at Blackwater. Yeah. So where we lived out there, so I actually relocated out there for work, same with, you know, like with my ex-husband. And, um, yeah, just had seen a lot of things out there, yeah, yeah. even before this particular thing I'm going to talk about. Um, I remember I went to bed one night. My ex-husband had well, divorced now, obviously. Yep. He was already in bed sound asleep. And, um, yeah. I don't know, I'm the type of person that takes me about half an hour to fall asleep, okay. especially when you have, I think all women can sort of relate when they've got a man laying beside them snoring their head off that you've already kicked him five <laughs> times to try to get him to shut up. Yep. Yeah, so I'm sort of, I'm laying there and um, next thing I have, there's like, oh, okay, so in my bedroom, I'm near the window, like at the side of my bed, and we've got timber blinds at the window. And yeah. next thing, behind our house is like a vacant, there was a vacant lot of land, like a big strip of land. Right. And then there was this light coming through the, the blinds in the, yeah, this is about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I'm laying there, and then this really bright light shining through the window. Oh, but wow. it was... Not a white light, it was blue. It was like a blue-hued light. Yeah. First, my, my honest first opinion was someone's with a spotlight because it was kangaroos that would actually be, you know, in the paddy behind us. Yeah. So I thought I automatically, my head goes off someone's, obviously, with a spotlight, you know, trying to go for kangaroos. And um, and that, the, the light was that, it just got brighter and brighter, like, yeah. Next thing I sort of know, I, I got up. I actually did go to get up. I'm trying to wake up my ex-husband, obviously, to be like, you know, what the heck's that? Something's going on, yeah. not knowing what was going on. And at this stage, I've got dogs yep. and the dogs are not barking in the backyard. They're not making a sound. Got no interest at all. And no, nothing at all. And next thing, the blind, you know how you pull up a timber blind, timber oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blind gets pulled upwards, like it gets like I've opened it, but I haven't. The blind is up, and because I'm freaking out at this stage, um, I can see something at the window, but I'm trying to focus because there's so much light, you know, yeah, coming in. Blinding in this blue yep. light. The only way I can describe the light is like it is like the blue neon sort of lights, you know, you get a nightclub or you know, like on buildings and stuff like that, yeah. this blue light. It just encompassed everything outside. And what I saw, there was, at that stage, I only saw four. I saw four somethings. I didn't know what it was yep. um, standing outside my window. One was looking directly at me okay. and the other three were facing all different directions, like they were on lookout. Yeah, right. That would have been terrifying. And uh, I was screaming by this stage. I remember uh, I was crying, screaming, being a bit, you know, I was, I'm a girl. Being a girl, <laughs> still trying to wake up my ex-husband and he's just not moving. Yeah, like, honestly, yeah, I don't I think well a gender thing would have been touching. any issue there. I think, like, anyone <laughs> in their right mind would just, like, be freaking out going, what the hell is going on there? Yeah. Um. And then I saw one walk around like the, the, from the side of the house and he was carrying, I say he, I don't know what sex it was, yeah. you know, because, they yeah, I don't know what they were. And then um, one was carrying my daughter oh, in no. her doona, actually off her bed. And she wasn't a young child. She was in high school. Yeah. So I had very tall children, so... She wasn't this little tiny, petite, you know, little schoolgirl. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I'm hysterical at this stage. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Out of fear. You, you, but I don't know. Your, your brain's trying to work out what's going on until I just had total fear clicking. Yeah. I know. Oh, you would. I, I know I jumped on my bed and tried to hide under the blanket because I, I didn't know what to do. And I remember looking at this particular one at the window. Next thing I knew, it was in my room. They were in my room. Oh, like, crazy. I didn't, I didn't see them enter the room. I just know that they were in the room. And I remember this one, he just, oh, they have no emotion on their face. Like what I was seeing, for instance, my house that I lived in at that time is a good, um, you know, three, four foot off the ground. It's not yeah, a two-storey place, house. but you had stairs. So my bedroom was at the back of the house. So you, if I stood outside, I'm like five seven, five eight. Yeah. I couldn't look in the window. You know, I couldn't see. Like you'd see the top of my head, but that'd be it. Now, the what was I was seeing was like eight foot tall. That is tall. So, yeah, it's like eight foot tall, um, very much in proportion. They are slender, but not that you'd call like a stick figure okay. walking. Um, I don't know if they were wearing clothing. I, I don't, re- I have no idea. I don't know what colour they were because I don't know if they were silver, if they were grey, if they were white, if they were blue because there's blue hue yeah. everywhere. I do, I saw them from all angles and I know that they carried my daughter with ease, absolute yeah, okay. ease. It so were they like carrying her effort. physically or were they using like any sort of methods of? No, in, in, no, it was this, it was carrying in its arms. Okay. And had her wrapped in her blanket. Yeah. yeah right. And um, that particular one, when it walked around, it didn't look at me. I remember that. And then. I remember this one that had its eye on me constantly. This was in my room at this stage and it has no, uh, the way its eyes are, it's no, it doesn't have, its eyes are larger but not their big, you know, blowfly looking huge, you know, eyes with the big huge head or anything like that. It was very much in proportion but its eyes were, larger than what ours would be in our face you know yep. it had very dark eyes I know its nose was very very s- small and close to its face um yep. its forehead I remember its forehead is it like it's its brow area is very pronounced like sticks out further than what the eyes you know where oh, the that's... sockets where the eyes are yeah that's weird yeah very very chiseled jawline yeah. Did it sort of like sort of, narrow you know down how, like the normal, the classic alien sort of jawline, or is it like actually have like a sort of humanish sort of jawline? No, it didn't. No, it did. It was very much proportioned. Definitely didn't look human in that sense, but very no, very much in proportion, and it's very chiselled. Its jawline was very very chiselled. Yeah. Um, for instance, you know how like uh, an ape, a gorilla, okay, in yeah. that sense, you know how it's very chiselled in its jaw area, very yeah. strong and chiselled. It was like that. And I'm still hysterical. And then I, I heard, like I know its mouth didn't move because I was staring at it. Yeah. I, was, I didn't, wasn't taking my eyes off it. And then I heard, for it to, I heard in my head, I didn't hear it speak, where it said, calm down. And I know it. It raised its hand at me where it had its index finger, like as if you know how if you're about to look at, a, you know, one of your pets or one of your kids and, and shake your finger from side to side as if to go, no, you know, behave yourself. Yeah, That's okay. what it did. It actually it raised its hand and it just waved its finger very slowly. And yeah, wow. I can recall it felt like I was going to faint like I was about to pass out, you know, okay. how you're fighting it and I'm fighting to keep my eyes open, but you can feel yourself getting pulled under. So Yeah, okay, so you're having a mental the, battle sort of going yes, on. Yes, yeah, yeah. Then I can remember I'm still there, like I'm still fighting it 
and I had my eyes closed, closed though, and all I felt was hands on my on my body grabbing me. And next thing I remember is getting raised up, so I knew I was off my bed. Yeah. And then I know I went through the window and, you know, because the window wasn't open because we had, like, security um, mesh grills, you know, across the, the whole window. Yeah. And, yeah, so I know I went through it because there's no other way that, you know, you could get out of the room or in my head. Yeah, no, without smashing but, the window or something or a wall, breaking a wall down. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But the sensation of I knew I was going outside because, you know, the temperature is different and you can feel outside. Yeah. But the pain, it's you felt like you were being crushed when it's like you, they were taking you through the window. It felt like your whole body was crushing on itself. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's insane. That'd be crazy. Like an insane mm. sort of I – can't, I can't really describe how this sense of itself, like how you're explaining it. Fear, actually. It's the only thing going through your head. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but you then would. you know you're outside. I, my eyes are not open. And then you can feel yourself – just go straight up real quick like you know that your body's moving upwards at a rate oh wow that's that's all i remember like i don't recall seeing a craft or anything like that at this stage yep um well with this one all it had was just this blue light everywhere wherever you looked even outside it was just it was just this blue light like you're inside this dome of light Yeah. yeah but when they um i remember Having my eyes closed still, yep. you can feel things going on. Yep. I can remember pain. I remember that. Um, I don't know if I'm actually passing out from pain or uh, I don't know. It's just blank after that. But then I do recall, I recall being laid down, like hands on me again. Yeah. And then I remember... I don't know, it felt different. Like I knew I was back in my room. Yeah. Right. And then then I heard just in my head, I didn't know what it meant. And then I heard someone, you know, say, Did you remember to, to close it? Something about closing something. And I was thinking, I don't know what, you know, you still groggy it's like coming out of surgery does that make sense yeah i can't i haven't been through surgery myself so i'm not really familiar with that one yeah see i'm actually quite different when it comes to surgery i just go boom and i'm wide awake yeah i can hear things and then i just open my eyes but um yeah remember yeah it asked it wasn't talking to me but i remember hearing it and then then i remember waking up like with a jolt um yeah, your body does hurt. Yep. <laughs> you, you are. You actually feel pain. Then I had, I got up. I had sheer panic. I got up and I ran straight, you know, like hysterically to my daughter's room. Yep. And she's sound asleep in her bed. Oh wow. Yeah. So, but with that, oh, you know, like it affected me that badly. I think I slept through the daytime only for about two years. Oh, that's insane. I was so scared to go to sleep at night, and which imagine. made it worse. Yeah, which made it worse too because you're explaining, I'm explaining to my husband, you know, what happened. And, of course, he's like, I was just dreaming, like brushing it aside. Yeah, you know, things that was very frustrating. Typical. Yeah, yeah, which is quite a strange thing considering um, – I have a lot more stories. I have, a, you know, stories, well, memories, I should say. Yeah. Of a lot of other instances that we might get to at another time. But That's okay. So just on that, exactly um, what was going on. people are asking here, like, did your daughter yeah. remember any of this at all? No. Not that particular time. But I do know that this particular instance, um, my other son, um, he was actually in his room asleep. Yep. And he said he woke up and he says and knew because he could see the, the blue light. Yeah, right. Yeah. And he, but that's the first instance that I can remember. Oh, 
as much detail, you know what I mean? Like even before yeah. that, you'll get like snippets of remembering something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was the longest, but it actually scared, scared me shitless, to be honest. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So but did your husband whole... remember any of this either? No. Oh, no. Not at all. He just looked at me like I was insane, basically. <laughs> Yeah, but you have, but he was definitely one of those people of ignore it. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, okay. Even if like if there's a problem, don't think about it. Don't talk about it. It goes away. Yep. Yeah, those one that yeah, person who just brushes things under the rug, especially because oh. um, he knows he's had experiences himself and has seen things. But yeah, still the same thing. A lot of people. Are, don't like to acknowledge certain things. Yeah, they just go and put yeah. it into a repressed memory, like in a bit of a fear tactic or something with the brain, just goes into absolute shock and just, yeah, goes, no, nah. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but um, that's the one that sort of sticks out in my head the most because it had the most detail to it. But I do, mm, I do have some other ones that I remember as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll see is... if um, any of the members here have got um, some questions there quickly. We'll give them a bit of time there to go and write in the comments there for us. So, um, yeah, guys, mm -hmm. feel free to go and put in the comments there any questions you might have for Gail. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll continue like the... on with some more encounters, hopefully. Yeah, like this particular one, um, I've looked everywhere that I can on the internet to try to find someone who's drawn a picture of it to say this is, you know, what they saw because basically my art skills is a stick figure, you know, <laughs> I'm not that good at it, but I can't find it on, on the internet anywhere. That's strange. Like you think that it would like, obviously people had, there's lots of abductees everywhere. So you think that someone would have a similar mm -hmm. sort of knowledge of this being, or at least have some sort of mm -hmm. drawing or something to go mm -hmm. by, but nothing. Yeah, that's right. No, no. I've seen ones that are similar to it yeah but yeah yeah but not where i look at it and shudder you know to go oh god that's it you yep. know yeah yeah that's crazy but um i can't explain as to see i have yeah i have children they've experienced things their whole life as well so yep. even stories that they have even i'll look at them and they're totally different to mine my experiences oh, okay. so or the, what they've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally different. Yeah. I've gotten to the stage now where um, I do hear, I do hear them, not yeah. all of them, I assume, but I do, um, I don't know, like where I live now, um, for instance, we'll have, I've seen heaps here, which is in, I live at the Gold Coast. Come on, it's a big city. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lots of, you know, lots of people about everywhere. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, like I've even had experiences where I've um, I've had friends, you know, sort of say, you know, I've never seen one, I want to experience one, and yep. I've actually messaged them, you know, and when one, I've seen one and it's right there, you know, then it's just a craft where it's right there yeah. and pointed it out to them and they've even recorded them. Yeah. Wow. Like, for me, I don't even bother anymore because you know how you do with a phone. Like, you, you try to do a picture and what, what you're recording is, is not what you're seeing. No, it's like always it just a comes up that too. <laughs> it's a classic, yeah. classic photography. No, it definitely is. Yeah, it's the same thing as saying, like, oh, you know, take photographs of the moon. You know, if you try to do that with your phone, it looks like a little tiny speck in the sky yeah and it's nothing to what you're experiencing no it's yeah. a shame isn't it oh yeah that is right yeah that's why i think that they don't get a lot of good clear you know yeah, video it's, on anything. it's unfortunate yeah. too like just, yeah yeah um so i do have a question here for you um did all mm -hmm. your experiences occur in the same place so obviously in no Water. no no um all over different – I've only ever lived in Queensland and I did live in another country overseas for a bit. Yeah. But, no, all of it's happened in different parts of Queensland. So I'm talking Cairns, um, Blackwater, Gladstone, right there. Yep. Had, that's where I had one guy over the house and, yeah. Um, Gold Coast, 
Okay. Um, yeah, heaps. Yeah, everywhere I've lived, I've experienced stuff. Yep. So obviously, the, the most scariest one was the one in Blackwater. The one I have the most detail and scared the pants off me. Yes. Yeah. Whereas others only have snippets of memory. Um, I do have one time. Um, I know I left Toowoomba. Actually, this happened a year ago. Yep. And it was night time. I had my daughter in the car, and we were driving back to the Gold Coast. And uh, we it was quite late. It was like, oh, but it wasn't like midnight or anything. It was only like ten o'clock at night, something like that. Nine thirty, ten. Yep. And just before the Gatton Bypass, I remember looking over, and it was on. We were driving Brisbane's way. And it was on the driver's side and there was a craft in the paddock right beside the road. You could see the lights. It was hiding behind trees, like a tree line, but you could see it. And then I even remember, I looked at my daughter and I thought, oh, God, here we go. And because if you turned around and so you sort of think, do I keep driving that way or do I turn around, which you couldn't turn around yet anyway. Yeah. Um, And then you still got it where there's hardly any cars on the road. So... We just kept driving in that particular instance. The last thing I remember, anything weird happening, was yep. we were driving. We'd just gotten onto the Gatton Bypass. And then I remember uh, an, a white owl just about to smash my windscreen and it's oh. looking straight at me. Like its head's turned and it's looking straight at me. And that's the last thing I remember until me and my daughter um, we're just about home. We lost yeah. two hours in that particular instance. We did lose time because I, yeah, we'd actually, I just left my sisters and we always have the message to me when you get home. So I know you got yeah, home yeah, safe, you know, because we're traveling. Yeah. So we have that. And even she was like, what the hell, what the hell, you know? Yeah. yeah well, it takes and so, long. so we had, yeah, we had missing time. We don't recall uh, I recall actually only the drive as soon as I got onto the M1. That's it. And wow. I had no memory of the no rest of that. it. Neither is my daughter. Wow. Mm. So I've got another question here. Yeah. Um, so hang on, I need to find the question again now. Uh, okay, are your experiences with the same beings or different? Um, um, a couple are different, but it's it's a there's a main two different type for me, myself. Yeah, there's two different that I recall. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm. That is insane. And especially like with, um, with the um, the owl flying at your car, that's something different in itself as well. Because um, usually people just see them sit on the side of the roads or something like that or in the trees, you know, and, or sort of somewhat around them, whatever they're doing. But flying at your car is something completely different. See, for me, myself, uh, I've, yeah, I've actually, um, oh, I don't know how much truth this is. It's sort of like a, oh, an explanation I've given in my own head, yep. if that makes sense of, yeah, trying to make some type of rationality out of some yeah. things. Um, I have noticed that I have associated um, when things have happened or just before I've had things that I remember happening there's always been this random white owl memory for instance I'll drive home and then I'll have a white owl just standing in my driveway and won't move yeah and I'll just look at it and be like I'm not getting out of the car (laughs) you know like (laughs) what the hell are you going to move you can beat the horn and it won't move things like that yeah Yeah, so I sort of don't know if they're connected or what I don't yeah I don't know I don't know if it's a memory that I have heard other people I've read up on, you know, or spoken to where they said it's a memory that they put in your head. Yep. It's to protect their identity. It's not so they want you to see a white owl and not them. It's actually yeah. them that are at your windscreen. I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like another time I remember um, I left um, my sister's house and yeah. where. I lived from her. It wasn't that far away at that stage. And so you had, but the drive was actually going to be on your own, like on the road. There wouldn't be any other cars. Yeah. And 
I remember I was driving down her street and it was it was like downhill. And then I watched a light plane and I know it was late at night, you know, 11, uh, you know, 11, 11 p.m. at night, something like that. Yeah. And I remember this light plane, like a little two-seater plane, you know, very, very small plane. And it was very low to the ground and it was just in the paddock, you know, like at the end of the street because it was like a, yeah. it was a train yard sort of area there. So, but it flew and then it stopped mid-air and it just sat there like mid-air at the end of the street. I, st- I stopped my car and I just looked at it and I remember thinking, I got quite annoyed actually because I just looked yeah. at it and said, how stupid do you think I am? Yeah. yeah, I really did. And then I stopped and I, t- yeah, I just thought, no, nope, not going that way. <laughs> and uh, which would have made me actually go down the way I would have gone is where you're on your own, like traveling for a good 10 minutes, Yeah, you know, on a road. Yeah. And then as soon as I looked at I stopped the car and looked at it and just went, do you think I'm that stupid? <laughs> it, it actually took off. And I mean, when it took off, it took off like, boom, it was gone like a rocket. Oh, wow. It just went whoosh and it just took off, yeah. Yeah. That would have left a lot of questions. So, oh, yeah, it, it did, but it didn't because I, I don't know. I just knew. I'm just like because I've seen things like that previously. <laughs> yeah. Actually, a lot of it happens, Um. well, you would know actually. There's a lot of – if you start noticing – planes that are in areas that they're not supposed to be yeah yeah it's not that's what they want you to think it is yep. is a plane so that's how you project it is how you see it is a plane yeah yeah well that's obviously the yeah. brain doing its thing eh? trying to find the logic and obviously blinding you toward the reality of what's going on i suppose yeah yeah i i don't know or it's just called camouflage or or it is the fact I don't. I have no. I. I don't know. I can't give an, ex, an explanation on how they do it or why they do it or. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it leaves a lot of but questions, yeah. doesn't it? Like, why not just come out of the open and, like, you know, get mm. involved? <laughs> why the secrecy? That's the biggest question of them all. Ah, uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, "Oh, I'm sorry, but our governments do know." Yeah, they've got. They it. do. Oh God, yeah. No, they definitely know and they know who can see them or when it comes to, um, you know, a lot of people will experience something at least in their lifetime, you know, let alone it be something that they see in the sky, you know, a light in the sky or, yeah, or experience something different. But um, I don't know, like when it's come to a consistent sort of, you know, constant thing yeah um i don't know it's more from what me talking to some other people because you, you we all try to fill in blanks and try we to do. piece things together or yeah but pe- people that i've noticed that have got a full-on activity let alone i i can see that i i can see ghosts and yeah i, I ignore that if i can yeah you just sort of yeah I ignore as much as what I physically can, but yeah, it's, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of them when it comes to full-on activity are normally sensitive in a way in other things as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I could be sitting like in my lounge room. I live in an apartment. Yeah. And I could be sitting in my lounge room and, you know, the balcony is like, like near me and then I just get this urge just to, Something makes me look out the window and I'll see a craft in the sky. Yeah, right. So you just get so, a little bit of a feeling, like a bit of a spider sense sort of thing and just go, oh, yeah, something's out there. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't happen, like, all the time, but it does It does happen. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just something that, like, if someone's just looking at you, you get the urge to turn around and look at them. Yeah. And that's how I normally will see them. It's like something's made me. It's not like I've tried to look for it in that you know, in that direction. It's not like I'm out there stargazing or something. I'm yeah, watching yeah. a TV show and something makes me look out the window. Yeah. yeah and well, you'll see something. 
Yeah, mm. I've got another question here for you. Um, have you ever found yeah. any marks on your body skin when you came to? Yes. Yep. Yes, yes. Yeah, tell um, me about that. Oh, it does vary. I've got burns. Um, okay. Uh, the ones that really annoy me, when it comes to markings, uh, I've got a lot of markings It's that I, I recall being sat in chairs and having like a screen right in front of my face with lots of images. Um, I've got marks across my forehead. Yeah, oh, like dear. that you never, that you went to sleep, didn't have, and then, yep, you wake up and you've got these, like a big scar, like it's a good yeah, wow. two centimetres long across your forehead. Um, being a female, I've noticed um, the... They do like to experiment in a certain, you know, in the womb area. Yeah, the downstairs yeah, area. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do, yeah. So when it comes to a female, I had, yeah, I have had, um, yeah, a lot of medical complications because of it. I have been pulled up by doctors about it, yeah, accusing me of, you know, of not revealing surgeries that I've never had. And when I've actually had, you know, a normal surgery done by a doctor for something and yeah. not letting them know that I've got scar tissues from previous surgeries that I've never had. Yeah, well, yeah. Like you certainly wouldn't remember getting done by, like, you know, getting a surgery and all that, surely. <laughs> uh, no, those sort of things, which I'm lucky. Um, I don't, I do recall little certain things, yeah. um, but I don't, don't recall the full-blown memory of something like that which yeah, is good okay. yeah, well, yeah that I would be a good thing it does make i i would like to have hypnosis done to know so if it, you know what has happened to me but yep. then i have other people tell me have talked me out of it and just go you know do you really want to relive it and actually yeah. remember something that you don't remember yeah it's more answers that you know, because really it's just speculation of what you try to I don't know, give yourself in your own head of what happened or what's going on or, yeah, things like that. But, yeah. But when you see things, you know, like I've seen crafts the size of buses <laughs> and, you know, that are only 50-odd metres, 100 metres above the ground in a built-up area. Yeah. And I shake my head, I don't understand why other people can't see it when I'm not the only person. I've got either a friend with me or, you know, a relative or, you know, I have someone with me that's experiencing it at the same time Yeah. and wondering why I'm not hearing a siren, you know, five yeah, minutes why aren't later. people going crazy over this craft hovering above yeah. them? Or, yeah, or something, yeah, going online or, you know, or on the news and you just don't, yeah, you don't see anything. So you just keep it to yourself. And to, yeah, I don't know. So I will tell friends, like, if I can see something and I know it's not just something quickly passing over. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for instance, one that I saw that I had the friend actually um, video it. Um, yeah. Was, it was a craft. It, this one was actually a round craft, which is not, which is normally what I don't see, to be honest. Yep. So this one was round with lights. On it, and it was literally scanning the Q1. Now people know what oh, the wow. Q1 is at the Gold Coast, and it was literally scanning that building. You could see light coming out from the from the craft itself, going up wow. and down the building. Yeah, and it was about as high of it where it was was about a third down from the top of the building is the the height that it was above the ground. Wow! So it should be easy, and it seen. wasn't something small. Yeah, and it definitely wasn't a drone. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, when people think it, it could be a drone. No, it was close. You could physically see the ship itself. Oh, yeah. That's insane. That scared me, that one, because in your own head, you're sort of thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, are they looking for me? You know, that type <laughs> yeah. of – I know, that rationality goes – it does, yeah. That's what runs through your head. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this, yeah, a friend of mine actually videotaped that. Yeah. yeah, instance. But, of course, what they see, because he wasn't with me, he was on the other side of the building down um, 
closer to, you know, where that amusement park area is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where, slingshot um, and all that. Yeah, the slingshot. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he lived near there. So he ran from his apartment, like, up with his, you know, to try to capture it on, yeah, and that's how he captured it. He's, you know, on his phone on video. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously but what nothing he's, credible yeah. there to go and say, hey, there's an oh, object right there to go and give us some proper evidence. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. But it was more me, I, I'm sort of confused, like, why can't other people see it? Hello, if you're in the damn Q1, how could you not freaking see that? Yeah, well, you know, when it's right, right outside your window. Damn window. That. Something right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like um, another one that I've experienced down here, I happened about 7 o'clock at night sitting on my balcony and um, it was like a big, oh, it was just a dark mass, so... Yeah, it was it was a dark mass, but it had shine to it. If, if that makes okay, sense. Okay, a bit of a glow behind it, glow radiance sort of yeah. thing. Oh no, it was like it was made out of like black mirror. Is anyway. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah, oh. like a black mirror, but it was yeah, it was night time. Now this was oh gee, it was a good oh bigger than a than a bus, bigger than a bus, but it was shaped. I don't know what shape it was because it wasn't the same thing. It was very low to the beach. It was going across the like the beach. It was close to the beach anyway, from what yeah. I could see. But it was it was moving, but it was tumbling and t- changing shapes. Oh, more. Is the only way I can describe it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It was like it was. Yeah, it wasn't an actual shape. It was kept changing, but you could tell it was tumbling on itself and moving forward in the, yeah. in the in the air yeah so that one there it went so far and then that particular one shot out um straight out to the um ocean after that it went level with the beach line and then it just changed direction and shot straight out wow yeah That's crazy mm. i have another question for you here um have you had yeah. scans done to look for any kind of implants uh, no, actually. No. Um, oh, I've had like normal sort of, you know, x-rays and, you know, ultrasounds and you know, as you normally would for certain things. Yeah. But no, I've never actually, uh, because how are you going to say that to a doctor? Well, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They'd look at you and, and be like, oh, I think we might, you know, yeah, get you to see some type of therapist or something. Yep. So you just sort of keep it to yourself. It's funny because how you do say that, I know there's something has to be wrong with my right leg somewhere because I've noticed I can be at the lounge room watching TV and just one of my legs will get this really bad ache, just one of them, where it makes you, you're not tired, but it will make you physically get up from your chair and go lay down. And I've noticed, I've heard, because I've heard the men above the house, above the apartment. Yeah. Like, um, so I don't know if that's something, but I don't get that all the time. So that could just, could just be, yeah, just a me, something's wrong with your leg girl, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I actually can hear them sometimes before they show up, like... I don't know. There's, a, they have a some have a sound. The only right. way I could describe the sound is it's in the distance. Though it's like very slight that you can hear it. Is yep. a woomera. You know the Aboriginal thing that they spin around in a circle. It goes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes a sort of similar noise to that. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I've heard that. And, oh, it's funny because you can just feel, you just feel it. I, I don't know. You, you can feel it. You can't just hear it. You can also feel it. Yeah. So is it you know, like, a, sort of like a fear coming over you or like just a bit of like a dread sort of thing maybe? Uh, both, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, both. Um, considering like I remember um, I've had – I've had um, kids scream out my name actually when I've been at home and it's night time and um, 
I've run into their room thinking, oh, my God, what's, you know, is there a spider or something? Yeah, yeah. As they've been lit up in their chair, like, through the ceiling. Oh, whoa. Like, coming through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. And just in there, like, they're sitting at the computer playing a game, you know. That yeah. would have been terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I've never had that happen to me, though, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, my that kids have had crazy. that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Where they've screamed because they're that scared to move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can yeah. you really do in that situation? You're, like, you're getting beamed up through the bloody roof. <laughs> yeah. But see, when they can remember, especially my daughter, when those sort of things happen to her, when she recalls something, she even says that um, she can remember being in a strange place that she knows it's inside of some a craft or something. Okay, so she's got no, some sort of familiarization to it. Yeah, yeah. But she even says to me, she just goes, Mum, she she recalled when she told me about an incident she remembers. She said she remembers that she got she was able to break free from what she was laying on. And oh, she well, said okay. she can remember yeah, she said she can remember the doorway opened upwards. Like okay. I remember that, but upwards, like not sight, you know, how we open a door normal. Yeah, yeah. This one opened like a window going upwards, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, no like a roller door, like that type of thing. Up. No, no, this was like, so it opened, yeah, from the bottom upwards. She said that she can remember it was only open a certain, but you could climb underneath it. You could be able to get out. And she yeah. just, and she even said, she saw, she's screaming at me to move, to run, you know, because oh, we so could get out well. through here. I was there with her and she just said to me, you know, it's a total opposite of me. I was just standing there, she said, like a zombie in the corner, you know, like against the wall. Yeah. Not in a corner, but I was just against a wall. She says, just looking at her like I was, yeah, not there, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, that would be Yeah, crazy. see, and I don't have any yeah memory of that so little things and little things that we can remember is is different she actually has a lot of burns on her body oh, a lot wow. of markings and stuff like that yeah so similar things yep. going on yeah i she has been female as well yep. she's never had any operations done and she has the same as me where our belly button our belly buttons leak fluid Oh, that's great. After, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, but, yeah, we have, yeah, well, as you know, it's an opening into your stomach type of thing. But Yeah. yeah. Easy access. Yeah. Yeah. So being female, yeah, they do like to muck around in those sort of areas. Yeah, which is... Mm, from what I recall. What do you think they're trying to achieve by doing this sort of thing? Um, well, I wish that I knew. Do you know what I mean? I have no, uh, uh, I do have a theory on it. Yeah. Considering I have, I do remember having babies put in my arms and stuff like that. Okay. Infants given to me and then taken away. So um, taking, possibly taking eggs from you or something like that or, and then. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I definitely believe so considering I've had, to have surgeries on my uterus and stuff because there's been that many complications from certain things happening to me. Yeah. yeah. That's and I've, this is where I've had, yeah, this is where I've had doctors actually. I remember one doctor, he really pissed me off actually, where he, he got up me for not disclosing previous medical treatments that I've had done and I'm looking at him blank faced of like I've never had that done. Yeah. And he just calls you a liar you know, well, you've got this and this. So, you know, I can see scar tissue from this procedure and this procedure and I've never even had it done. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you yeah. remember having surgery at some point in your life. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, so whereas um, another one of my kids, um, yeah, they sort of, I don't know, muck around more with his... Uh, head in that sense. Okay. Whereas, 
yeah, he remembers a lot of things that way, yeah, of things that they've stuck into him in his head or through his eyes and stuff like that, whereas I don't recall anything like that. Yep. So totally different experiences, like like whatever they're doing, they're, they're experimenting in different ways to obviously our genders. Yeah, I believe so. But the thing that I've sort of noticed is same as what I said, you know, people who um, I've spoken to that experience these type of things happening um, are normally gifted more in certain areas. Yeah, like, um, yeah, paranormal-wise in that sense or... Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, being uh, see, which is strange because I'm not a person of I was never raised this way either. Um, yep. like I'm not, I'm not a tarot reader, I'm not a do you know what I mean? I'm, I don't play with Ouija boards, I don't, yeah. I'm not a devil worshiper, I'm not, I'm just a normal, everyday person. Same, you know, with my kids and stuff, it's not like, yeah, I'm in some cult or anything like that, or. Anything even yeah, remotely you're not trying to close. Force them into that sort of environment. Oh God, no, absolutely not. Uh, if anything, if you know, if I was somewhere and someone was like, "Oh, let's pull out a Ouija board," I'm, I'm straight out the door. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not getting involved with that crap. Yeah, no, you know, like, Ouija boards sort yeah. of get me a bit sketchy on it too. It's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to play with it. Like, I'm curious to see like if this yeah. thing is real, but I'm like, if that attaches something to me or brings something that I don't really want to experience, it's like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm exactly the same. I'm like, don't muck around with stuff you don't understand. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. Heck no. I'm not touching any of that stuff. But yeah. So I was actually the same way even with my kids. I'm, I'm not, oh, I believe in God. I believe there's something, if you get yeah. what I mean. But I'm not a, yeah, I don't, yes, I'm sorry. I do go to church when there's a wedding or a funeral or christening or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, I do have a belief system, but I, I don't push it on my children or I wasn't raised that way or, yeah, so anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It's just more, I don't know, you can only be a support system for, I don't know, other people that you know that are experiencing things like this. Or I put it down to from what research I've done, um, yep. I put it down to, it has something to do with ancestry. It has okay. to do with um, bloodline. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, on on those likes. Yeah. I have also heard that stories there not... where, like, um, you know, one of your family members down the line there have made, like, some sort of agreement and it just keeps going through your bloodline, something like you're saying, yeah. Or that was, could uh, be a specific I had a... bloodline that they choose, or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, like because uh, of the experiences that um, I've had, I actually have had an agency you know, that has contacted me and, yeah, does help me. I, I have, do have someone that I can call when it becomes too much or that something full on is going on. Yep. Um, they did explain certain things to me. Still, I'll, trust me, still I've got gaps and answers that I have no idea, you know what I mean, yeah. what the answers are. Um, but they were the ones that actually explained to me of that it is not just a one-off thing. It is, yeah, yeah something it is. It does have to do with my ancestry and it's been going on yeah, for longer than you can. Yeah, oh, definitely. And the government does know about it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they're not blind to it. They're, they're well aware of what's going on. Yeah. So, it. yeah, I have no idea. That's why I get quite cranky. I went through a stage there. I was, you know, you feel like a guinea pig. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, yeah, yeah, because I had one time, um, oh, I don't know, you do, you get paranoid at some times, you know, like you sort of think, God, who's that? Or why is this being at the side of my, you know, at the front of my place? Not one, but three or four, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but it's, yeah, where I have been told that there are even 
other countries and agencies, is the only way I can tell it, this would be another story, that do monitor people and I'm, trust me, I'm definitely not the only one and there's more out there that have had more happen to them and I've just gotten to the stage now that I'm so sick of being quiet about it. Yeah. You know, yes, uh, yes, I'm not on video because you do have people that automatically will will think, oh, you know, yeah, put your tin, you know, tinfoil hat on, you know, and get your straight jacket ready, that that type of thing. That's what stops people from coming forward. And It does. It and really takes away it, a little yeah. credibility of what's actually happening in the world that people don't understand that is actually happening. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's also different for everyone's experiences are different because there is, you know how they talk about, you know, the ones that have got the really long blonde hair or all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I have heard some of the, um, I yeah, names I've like never, or something like that or whatever you want to yeah, call Yeah, <laughs> see, I have never, um, I don't have any memory whatsoever of ever seeing anything like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I really don't. Whereas I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying, well, I don't recall a memory of anything that includes that type of race or ones that say that, oh, they're, they're here to help us or they're really nice because the only memories I have, you know, are, are terrifying yeah, in so that they sense. Must have some it, sort of different yeah. interests between different people maybe, like obviously different, oh, if you want to call them races of alien, have different interests exactly. in the different type of peoples maybe. So. Yeah. yeah, that's actually what I think as well. That's, yeah, totally what I think. Like yeah. um, I come out of a, a family history um, that has got only when it comes to not my side of the family, I shall admit, yep. but my ex-husband's side of the family, ah, which... Um, so there's a bit of a connection yeah. between the two of you. Yeah, which is very... Um, high up uh government military type of stuff oh yeah yeah so a lot of that like um especially one of my children is quite gifted like um yeah quite gifted um he's a very quiet person keeps it to himself obviously yeah um well you have to you know like there are certain things that I remember when he was, wow, I reckon he was only about six, about six years old, yeah. five, six years old. Um, people who we'd befriended, you know, that became friends of the family in that sense, which um, until one day, so, yeah, I thought I knew them quite well until suddenly I remember we're at a, a barbecue at our house, so they were in our home. Yeah. Which, um, and then one of them actually, I don't know, I always knew something was a bit off, you know, about him. Yeah. And he, yeah, so to actually approach and tell me that he was from a particular agency, yeah, that's not in our country, and that they wanted me to hand over my, you know, six-year-old child for them to take to a raise on a monastery because of the abilities that they know that he already had. Yeah, wow. So I've got a couple yeah. of questions here for you in regards to this sort of yeah. thing. Um, so now someone's asking, has your parents or, um, or and grandparents seen things like this too? Like had they had their own encounters? Um, yeah. Um, uh I know my my father, my father, but I don't know if his experiences um, happened. Well, the oh, after he got sick, or before. Yep. I know he did have some things that happened that my mum and dad recalled with seeing lights and you know had lost time and stuff like that. But it was that type of thing when it come to UFO stuff. But my father when he became terminally ill, um, he started really having paranormal stuff happening. Oh. Yeah, so 
I'm aware of that. See, I moved, I moved back home to actually care for my dad. Yeah, so I was quite aware of he talked to me about what he was seeing or experiencing, you know, things like that. Yeah, so, but my dad was also, but my dad was also um, one of them people that would brush stuff aside like no rational explanation for that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Jesus. It was only until after he got ill that he sort of looked at me and so was, yeah, it. yeah, couldn't put it past being something else. Yeah, well. So I don't know if it was from him or, yeah, no idea. Wasn't close to my grandparents actually. Um, knew my grandmother, but my grandparents, you know, my, my, I know my grandfather's died even before I was born, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I couldn't say. No, so I, mean, I have another question here too. Um, have you tried to communicate with them, um, ask them what they want sort of thing? Um, uh, I actually couldn't answer that correctly or honestly because I have no – That's because the only way I can answer it is if knowing when I'm physically having a one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean, yeah. with them – I don't recall ever asking that question. I probably had screamed it at them, but I don't remember it. Yeah, you're yeah. probably aware of it. Yeah, I do know that um, that time with because the memory's very, you know, I have a lot of it with that one that time that happened at Blackwater. I do know I was screaming, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's pretty evident, like, with me anyway, because I don't have like, it's not a warm, fuzzy memory, you know, of any of it, that I wouldn't say it was something nice. But, um, yeah, so I couldn't answer it correct. You know, on, I probably would have, but I don't recall it. Yeah, no, that's fair enough too. Yeah. yeah. No, either yeah. way, it's all crazy experiences what you've been going through anyway. It's absolutely insane. Any normal person would be freaking out and <laughs> I think paranoid for the rest of their life, just about. Um, yeah. Oh, honestly, trust me, I've gone through a stage where I actually thought I was going loopy. Yeah. You know, that you sort of do question when something does happen that does scar you in that sense that you think, oh my God, am I losing it? Yeah. You know, so yeah, you know, I really did. So, but when I had that happen, when I really thought I was having a nervous breakdown because I, there's another bad instance that I had happen as well, um, which is another story if you want for another time. Yeah, another time. But sure. when it, yeah, but when it happened, yeah, I was just thinking, oh my god, I don't know if I can take this anymore. And that's when I did have contact, where I did have this agency come forward, and they were the ones that contacted me and knew so much history about me you know, of things yeah. that had happened to me that other people would not know, yeah, that to sort of let me know, no, you're not losing it. This is, yeah, this is actually this is happening. <laughs> yeah, and did fill in some gaps that, oh, trust me, I'm a person, I'll ask a thousand questions, yeah. you know. I do, yeah, I can get quite annoying. But even I would ask too many questions and then I'd get that I'm not answering that or no comment or they would cease the conversation with me oh, when I'd ask too much. Yeah, that annoys <laughs> me too. That's that's why I used to get real cranky and be like, well, I'm not your freaking guinea pig. Yeah, you know? like, like, yeah. a then, natural person would crank yeah. over that. Yeah, but he didn't um, – the person who was in charge of my sort of case in that sense, my – me basically um, – did explain to me because it is an ancestry thing and he was the one that told me that, yes, governments do know yep. and, yeah, and he just says it's been going on for oh, centuries, yeah. centuries, where it's the same thing, it's a trade-off, you know. Like I've, um, I have seen other people there yep. in when I'm taken that I don't know. I have seen other people there. Yeah, that'll be another story as well. Yeah. So, 
yeah, it's more I can only sort of interpret in a way that I understand, understand, yep. you know, what I can remember. But, um, yeah, but every time, like, you know, nine out of ten times when I see, like, a, uh, something in the sky, I'm not by myself. I've always yep. got someone else with me. Yeah, so if anyone wants to hang out for, like, a week, <laughs> 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 you know, at night time, trust me, yeah. Yeah, you oh, definitely. Next time I'm on the Gold Coast there, I'll be coming out to see you and we're going to chill out and just... Oh, go God, yeah, like, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I see that there are some places, I suppose, where there's activity that is more, you know, Frequent. happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. Yep. But <laughs> with me, uh, it doesn't really, uh, well, with me, from what I've experienced, it doesn't matter where the hell I live, something happens. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, something eventually shows up or, yeah, you see something. Yeah. But... Yeah, I don't sit outside and look for it anymore. The only time I've done it is oh, out of boredom if someone's sort of sitting with me. Yeah. Yeah. Or I so do it right if on. someone goes, oh, I really want to see a ghost. And I'll be like, oh, well, come on, I'll show you. I'll show yeah. you one if I can. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And just point you in the direction to see if you can see it. Yeah. But, yeah. But then again, does it come down to the same analogy of is it because I can see the crack in the chair? That other people can't see. I yep. don't know until they're shown where the crack in the chair is, or yeah, it's it. I don't I know. You're pointing in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. So, but no, I'm definitely nothing up. special. Yeah, no. Um, before we wrap it up, um, I'll, go, I'll see if anyone else has got any more questions towards it uh, for for you, mm -hmm. I suppose I should say. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. um, whilst people are going to be writing in their comments, there, I've got a question for you myself. There, what do you yep. think these beings are like? What are their what are they trying to achieve, I suppose? Like, what, what do you think they're, why are they here? Um, uh, have it. Oh. It's a I difficult question. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know, because I can only have theories and it'll change, I think, for different ones. Like, I've asked those questions also. Yeah. Uh, people who know a lot more than me and, um, to be honest, um, some are here and they've always been here. Yep. So we're actually the alien, not them. Oh, okay. You know, they were here before us. Yep. Um, there's that. Then there's ones that, I don't know, like the ones that I'm sort of have memory of the most sort of contact with, I guess, yep. aren't nice. So they don't think that, oh, you know, you're a beautiful human being that's, you know, Let's work together. No, it's not like that at all. Um, I don't know. I just think the ones that I can only say the ones that I experience are yeah. I've got something that they want and it's not to help me, but it's to help them. Does that make sense? So yeah, apparently yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's I don't know, that's the only explanation I can give. Like I do know that one type of uh, something that I used to, I see all the time and have been told and explained to that that's not actually a um, ghost that you're seeing. It's actually another species. Oh, what? And I was, yeah, okay, for instance, you know how we have shadow people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a lot of people will actually dismiss um, shadow people as being ghosts, like just a shadow, you know, yeah, that well, type of thing, yeah. when it's actually a living, breathing entity. It's it's living and breathing. That's that's actually what they're, what they're yeah, well, people, how they look all the it's time. Different, yeah. like a different sort of dimensional being of some sort. Yeah, like, um, uh, you know, like I've had stories, um, you know, like I've got family members who, you know, have been, uh, what are they called? The ones that are round up cows all the time and stuff. What are they? Jackaroos. That, yeah, jackaroos. There you go. Yep. Um, train drivers. And even the stuff that they say, you know, the stuff that they've experienced, you know, on what they've seen out in the middle of oh, yeah, absolutely so nowhere. Things I would have seen out there, for sure. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So it's oh, there's that many different times of phenomena that I don't know what's phenomena now and what's not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, is it phenomena or is it, yeah. Phenomenomena. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that's it. Am I even saying it right? I think, it sounds I right. Say. I think everyone's getting the idea. But yeah, phenomena. Yeah. It's a weird I don't know. It keeps sounding so, weirder every time I keep saying it. Oh, I'm just weird anyway, I guess. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't know. So what a lot of people class as like being, well, for me anyway, I've just accepted it. Well, what can you do? You've got nothing but to accept. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, otherwise it just drives you insane. Just living with yeah. both realities in a sense, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. But I, I definitely don't, oh, I don't spend my days, oh, I'll read stuff, you know, like, um, yeah. but no, I'm, I, I don't. I only research something like if it really bugs me. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah. But even I've come to terms with, um, I, I don't think I'll ever know the correct answers only answers that I can be happy to accept, I yep. guess. That's, that's yeah, so it doesn't drive me insane anymore because I can't stop it anyway. Yeah, no, that seems Actually, like a fair you can't. answer. Yeah, 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 you know, so I don't know. I think that's how I sort of look at it. And also I suppose I, I have um, knowledge of knowing that if things get too hard, I do have someone that I could contact yep. to be like, you know, c- come on, this is getting a bit over, you know, overboard. Help me yep. out, type of thing. Like, try to make, find out what's going on and get something to stop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's insane. Yeah. So yeah, all right. I think we'll leave it there anyway. Yep. And um, definitely have another chat with us down the track at some point because that's um yeah, obviously got plenty to talk about. <laughs> We've done a good hour and oh, a half yeah. session right here. Just kept oh going. god, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, and just to really, yeah, just to really let people know, you know, that everybody's got to have a safe area that they can speak they do. about. Yeah, and you don't have to. God, a lot of the stuff, even I can't rationalise it in my own head, you know. But just to let people know that, yeah, you're not alone. You're not. Yeah, you're not weird. You're not. Um, you're not a drug addict or a psycho or. You get what I mean? That yeah. yeah, these things do happen. It does Absolutely. happen to more people than what people realise. Well, even like well, Anthony, you're like he knows me personally, sort of thing. So you do know that what my character is like, and oh, absolutely, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, know me as a person. So, and if anything, when people say, "Why would I tell a story like that?" It just if it's not true, because it makes you look like an, an idiot. Yeah, you know what I mean? Why? Yeah, but oh well. This is why you only sort of share it rarely, and because yeah. yeah. a lot of things do yeah. sound far fetched, and he's like, "Oh wow, really? Like, are you really sure?" But like, until you experience it yourself, you just don't know. Oh god, yeah, yeah. It's, it's but hard even to like, yeah. But it's the same thing. Like, you can have a car accident happen, and it's seen by six different people. Yeah. They will all relay it totally different. Yeah, they will. To what the other person, yeah. So even how I've relayed something could be totally not exactly how it was, but it's yeah. how I remember it or how I express how, how it happened, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I also understand that, yeah. Yep. But, yeah. yeah. But, no, it's a good place. So it's good that you've got the site and it's good that, yeah, keep it all a, a safe area for people yeah, to absolutely. reach out. Yeah, we try out hard and, to keep it safe. And hopefully people can yeah. continue to reach out for us and share their encounters and stuff like that. So obviously, hopefully we're doing oh, a good yeah. job. <laughs> because a lot of it's happening and people are just not saying it. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of yeah. trolls out there as well. People just keep trying to bar it off or take the piss out of everyone there. And it's like, no, nah, we don't. We can't have that. That's just not going to yeah. keep people want to keep bringing their encounters yeah. out and experiences or sharing yeah. them. I mean, well, so, yeah. yeah, that's right because you can't. You can, I don't even try to sort of um, convince people. Oh, yeah. I'm like, dude, you can believe whatever you, you want to believe, you know, because I do. I believe whatever I want to believe type of thing. Yeah. But it's more the fact you can't explain yourself to people who are not on your same knowledge of wavelength as well. Yeah, it's true too. Yeah, so it will be like a doctor trying to have a conversation with me and rattling off all those big long words and I, you know, I'd just be looking at him shaking my head like, 
yep, no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, so it's the same thing. Yeah, like you're definitely going to yeah. keep an open mind about these sort of things. There. Like I try to keep things logical and try and break thing, a lot of things down for a logic sort of sense and, like, you know, critical think things. Mm-hmm. And but mm-hmm. then there's a lot of things too, like, you got to be an open mind to. Like people experience mm-hmm. different things there. And until you actually physically experience that thing yourself, then, yeah, you can't really judge it. Yeah, that's right. There, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I don't know. I just um oh well, I know I'm not I'm not crazy or anything like that, but hey, my parents could have dropped me on my head a few times when I was a little too and have no <laughs> knowledge of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe that's what opens you yeah. up your eyes up to everything. Just bang your head a few times yeah, and you'll be open to the whole situation of what's happening in the real world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, but no, it's been good ha- yeah, having a talk and yeah. Definitely. If there's anyone that has questions, yeah, I'm more than happy for him to put them through you and, yeah, answer as much as what, yeah, yeah I can if you, honestly if, um, answer. If you get the questions out there before, like, the end of the show, then um, by yeah. all means, yeah, 